Hi beautiful souls, it's Isabella and welcome to episode 1 of the Star Cluster Session. So thanks for coming by to watch my video and if you like it, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new episodes every week. So we've all heard spiritual gurus and self-help teachers talk about the value and power of forgiveness. Um, they tell us forgiveness heals and forgiveness will set us free and really it's about being compassionate towards others and ourselves. And if you're anything like me, you've probably thought that in order to be forgiving, you might have to uh, be a saint and do what you can. Sometimes the idea of forgiveness can feel really hard or really excruciating, especially if we've suffered the unspeakable at the hands of others. And in those cases, the most important person to forgive is you. I've learned that the most important person to forgive is yourself because you can't or could never change the unspeakable thing that someone did to you. They did that because of who they are and what's inside of them. And forgiveness means letting go of that self-blame, that self-criticism and that self-judgment and really knowing that there is nothing that you did that was wrong. The answers aren't always easy and it's really easy to get stuck in that spiral of what did I do wrong? Maybe if I hadn't done this or maybe if I hadn't done that but that's still blaming yourself. And the key here or the miracle here is to go back to seeing the goodness and innocence in yourself and that's a new perception or process of what it means to forgive and for me I found it's easy to look at it in a different way instead of thinking forgiveness or forgive someone who's done something unspeakable I try to think of a, a new perspective and see something different in myself and so for me forgiveness starts to mean seeing the beauty or the goodness and innocence in myself and that's the perfect place to start. Begin by changing your perception of yourself. Imagine how your guardian angels see you. They love you so much and they surround you with love and care and they want you to join them in celebrating what's unique and what's wonderful about you. And that could be your feelings, creativity, your thoughts, and most importantly, your dreams. Remember, you might be able to change the past, and you might be able to change someone, and you might be able to rectify or undo what they've done, but changing how you see yourself and how you perceive yourself is a wonderful place to start because then you begin to focus less on the past and what has happened and more on creating a beautiful future for your dreams. It always helps to do something that signifies or neutralizes what you're trying to do. So if you want to, for instance, change your beliefs or perceptions about self-blame or criticism, Perhaps making a list of all the shoulds, coulds and should nots that you believe that you've done and you know burning it or tearing it to shreds and letting it go is a really physical way to tell yourself that you're open to a new future and you want to make a change not just for yourself but for the world because the world needs your light, it needs my light and 
we can't shine our light and share what's in our hearts with others if we feel so bad about ourselves, especially because of what others might have done to us. And this process of releasing guilt and criticism is really empowering because it puts you back in charge of how you feel about yourself. Practicing the good in you every day. Celebrate yourself and cheer yourself on for even the smallest seeming accomplishments. Uh, whether it's a new drawing that you made, or a new dress that you designed, or a new look that you created. Really cherish yourself for the good that you've done and the good that you are doing by choosing to shift your perception and welcome change and believe something different about yourself right now. I know there aren't any easy answers and I know some days it can seem really hard to move forward with your dreams and the things you hold dear in your heart when you're fighting with pain and grievances but that's when it's important to turn to your dreams and instead of fueling your energy into pain, fuel it into bringing more light to the world or into what really makes your heart sing with joy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and post in the comments and I'll see you next time in the Star Cluster Sessions and until then, remember that always you are loved.